So hello everybody and welcome. Now in this video we are going to talk about a single line diagram of 36 by 11 kV substation. Now in the previous video we understood the five simple steps which we can use to read and understand the single line diagram of a substation. Now using those five steps we will actually go through this single line diagram of 36 by 11 kV substation. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to identify the structure of the diagram. Now here we can see on the right hand side we have some information at the bottom right hand corner we have the title block and then at the center we have the single line diagram. So let us first go to the right hand side and understand the things that are available there. So here you can see the first table that we can see is the equipment list that is mentioned. So it shows the description of each of the equipment that we will be using and the symbol of that particular uh, equipment along with the quantity that is required. So this is 36 kV SF6 circuit breaker and this is the symbol. This is 36 kV uh, double brake motorized disconnector without earthing switch. This is the symbol and this is the symbol for with earthing switch. And similarly we have symbol for current transformer, voltage transformer, lightning arrestor and uh, drop off fuse. Now you can pause this video for two seconds and just go through the symbol so that you will be familiar with it. Now I hope you have seen the symbols, uh, we'll just go down and here you can see the system parameters are also mentioned. So the rated voltage nominal is 33 kV, rated voltage maximum is 36 kV. So the nominal voltage is 33 kV which means this is the voltage level that will normally will remain in the system. But the system is rated for 36 kV and it is always as I said. Uh, a good practice to refer a system voltage by its rated value rather than the uh, normal system voltage value. So 132 kV becomes the nominal value, 145 becomes the rated uh, system voltage and always refer system with the rated voltage. Then the frequency is 50 Hertz, basic insulation level given in kV is 170 kV, short circuit level for this uh, substation is 31.5 kilo ampere. Power frequency withstand voltage is 70 kV, so that means this would be the lightning impulse voltage. Uh, then control voltage AC and DC is given, creepage distance is given and then we also have details of main bus and the branch connections. So these are all the details and then at the bottom we have our title block. Did they give any CT details here, current transformer details? No, there are no details given for the current transformer. Now uh, once we have we are familiar with the symbols and designation used in this uh, SLD. Now we need to identify the circuit arrangement that is used here. So you can see only one bus bar is seen right here. That means this is a single bus bar arrangement and 36 in 36 kV voltage level single bus bar arrangement is the most common type of arrangement that is used. And this uh, at the center what you can see this two portion here disconnector and uh, circuit breaker is used for bus sectionalizer. Now what is that? We will talk about that by the end of this video. So make sure you stick to the video to understand what is bus sectionalizer. Now uh, let us focus on the bay that you can see right here. So we will go through the apparatus and equipment that is connected. So this is a 36 kV incomer and that incoming line is actually a high tension cable, 33 kV high tension cable. Then that is connected initially to a lightning arrestor and then we have a motorized double brake type disconnector with one earthing switch and that's why you see M is mentioned to indicate it is motor operated. Now there are disconnector which can be operated manually as well but motor operated are um, you know more advantages than the manual operation. So this is uh, the double brake isolator with single earth switch. Then after that there is a current transformer. Uh, now I hope you have understood the functions of each equipment uh, that we are looking that is used in the substation. If you want to have a quick revision on the functions of each equipment then I have a dedicated video on that. I'll provide link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. So this is the two core current transformer. You can see one core is used for metering purpose and the another core is used for protection purpose. Now after current transformer, we have a 33 kV circuit breaker. After that, there is a 36 kV disconnector used. Again, a motorized disconnector, but this is without any earthing switch, right? 
and then the connection is given to the bus bar here so it's a single bus bar now after the bus bar again there is a disconnector again without earth switch uh, we again have a circuit breaker and after that we have a three core current transformer so out of three two cores are used for protection purpose and the remaining one is used for metering purpose then again there is a lightning arrester and after the lightning arrester the most ex expensive equipment that is the transformer so this transformer is basically accepting the 36 kV as the incoming supply then stepping it down to 11 kV and after that there is again a lightning arrester so from here the supply is going to 11 kV switchyard now 11 kV switchyard will also have uh, current transformer potential transformer disconnecting switch then from that switchyard the power will go to the distribution poles and from there the distribution will happen to different different consumers now one thing to notice here you see we have a transformer and before and after the transformer they have used lightning arrester now what is the purpose of this before and after now there is no compulsion as such that you should be using the uh, uh, lightning arrester before and after the transformer it is advantageous to use because lightning arrester can save the transformer from the uh, switching over voltages that may appear in the system so that is the reason why you will see before and after the lightning arresters are used and because the transformer is one of the expensive equipment it is worth protecting the transformer with the from the switching over voltage and that is the reason why you will see uh, you know lightning arresters are used here now this is one bay so what we have seen from top to bottom this is called as one bay so you can see labeling here also this is transformer bay one so traf is the short form used for transformer and this is the bay one of transformer now exactly the mirror image of this you can see uh, on the left hand side so the exact same equipment exact same arrangement is used here also that we have seen in the right hand side uh, bay and this is transformer bay 2 so basically they have two transformers and the uh, the left hand side is what call as transformer bay 1 and the right hand side is called as transformer bay 2 right so this is the 36 kv by 11 kv sld now coming to what is this bus sectionalizer so basically what is this uh, we are using a breaker and isolator now let's say we have two bays here one is on the right hand side another one is on the left hand side now let assume there is a fault on the right hand side now what we can do is since we have a bus sectionalizer we can open the circuit breaker and then open the disconnector we can isolate the faulty part of the bus and then continue giving the supply from the uh, left hand side of the bus bar this is the advantage of having a bus sectionalizer what it is doing is it is you know creating two sections of the bus so in case there is a fault on another side the other side can be you know uh, bifurcated and supply can be continued from it so that is the advantage of bus sectionalizer it creates sections of one single bus so that is the sld of 36 by 11 kv substation i hope you found it useful now if you want me to make a video uh, wherein we will be going through the sld of 145 by 36 kv substation then comment 145 by 36 kv if i get enough comments then i'll also review the sld of 145 by 36 kv uh, substation just like this and if the video helped you then do click on the like button and do share with the people you might think would be useful to know so thank you for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning